Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today we have a lot to discuss about some really odd stuff. Yes, I totally made that rhyme, but yes, in the past few days, there has been some pretty odd events and some weird things that's been happening, and it really regards the question about, did Asimo just reveal the next update? And yes, Asimo has been providing us with a lot of information, and I think he just answered that question himself. Anyway, before we jump right into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because it really helps me a lot, and it took me a while to find out all this information so it really helped me a lot anyway let's go ahead and jump right into the video so as you guys do know the air 51 base has been bombarded with a lot of interesting things like these agents over here and if you haven't watched my previous video i basically made a video covering everything that happened here and basically nothing has really changed over here but at the doom buggy place has changed like this person over here is still holding this agent has still they're holding their clipboard and nothing has changed on it but the doom buggy place has changed and there is a new change to it and as you can see you know if you don't watch my last video i basically here's a quick summary so as you can see over here this is the sundial um basically it's an ancient way of telling time and as you can see the collector and uh simon bazzi see are here and there's all this stuff but this is the thing that's changed and they basically have dug a hole into the ground with this called a tile and i'll explain a lot more what this is later and why it's kind of odd but to give you guys all the information details and stuff like that, let me go ahead and show you some tweets Asimo has made. So the first tweet is basically all about Asimo just saying how great the robbery is. He says, I really do believe the next robbery is our best one yet. So excited to see the reactions from YouTubers playing it for the first time. We'll likely keep it most of it a surprise. And the most interesting thing is this person asks, do you think the Jailbreak Collector, this account which will give the most hints, and it says, do you think the Jailbreak Collector will find out what the next robbery might be? And Asimo says, he's the best for the job we're here for him and that kind of proves the jailbreak collector is uh, managed by simo and you know it kind of gives out the hints but simo has also said i wish i could share some photos of the new robbery probably the work i'm most proud of recently i think you guys will love it and he also says i think it's truly my all-time favorite it's going to be so hard to top it feels so perfect and fresh now with all that in mind basically this robbery is going to be top tier as you guys do know simo has said in the past that this robbery is going to be museum tier which is it's going to be a huge robbery and it's going to pay quite a lot and he also really likes it a lot but that kind of brings a question what is this jailbreak collector because this jailbreak collector is on twitter account and i'm basically going to show you everything that's odd about it and basically why this jailbreak collector basically is telling a lot of information about what the next robbery will be so this is the jailbreak collector account and as you can see, it is owned by Bademo. I think you guys already know this is Bademo's account. But a few days ago, they tweeted this. I found the tile. This is what I think it is. And as you can see, there is the tile and the point of view of the jailbreak collector. But this tweet is not the odd tweet. The odd tweets are these little hint tweets that they've been making about, you know, Nick's robbery. And I'm going to be going over that. So the first one is over here. And it says, yesterday's discovery was fantastic news, but I'm only finding more dirt Remember, keep that word in mind, and rock. More, more rock, more nothing. I hope to be close. Now, keep these in mind. Rock and dirt. What is that most common for? Well, if you think of mining, you know, when you mine stuff, you're going to find a lot of rock and dirt when you're trying to find minerals and resources like coal and, you know, copper, iron. You're going to find a lot of dirt and you're going to find a lot of rock because you're digging through the ground. So that gives us a first hint already. And that's just only one tweet, guys. And that was from a few days ago. The second one is I never thought it'd be found. I have a lot of work to do. Batty Mo wants me to stay quiet. I'll try to share what I can. Hashtag jailbreak. And that brings up secrets this thing is secret and let's move on to the next tweet so it says over here this is from 12 hours ago and it says i found the main entrance much work ahead tons of dirt is being excavated look at that word if you guys don't know what excavated means i'll read out the definition to you guys the first definition is make a hole by digging and the second definition is Remove earth carefully and systematically from an area in order to find buried remains. Look at that. Buried remains. And what is the collector doing? Well, if you go to the collector right now, they just found a sundial, which is literally 
buried remains and they also found this tile and you know the most funniest thing just look at the very side of this look at the very side of the definition it literally says over here archaeological excavation and if you've seen the pictures there's literally pictures of ancient ruins so you kind of just paints the message already anyway i really want you guys to tell me what you guys think about this tile because a lot of you guys haven't been giving really good answers but if you go over here and ragdoll you will find nothing hold on give me a second so as you can see there's nothing really in the ground when i ragdoll it's kind of pointless to do it but they are digging in the ground and they're not finding anything they're just finding a lot more dirt and stuff like that as you see there's nothing right there but however that is not the most odd thing that may have just revealed a little bit about the robbery but there is more and it basically paints more of a picture about why this might be more of a mining robbery. I'm kind of mad I didn't find this tweet a few days ago, but it's from Asimo himself and here it is. Asimo has tweeted this over here and when you first look at it, you might think, what is this? Well, if you look a little bit closer, you see their hands right over here, you know, across their chest and you see this little face. It kind of looks like a mummy. Yes, a mummy. And Asimo actually answers some pretty good questions over here. So this person asked for maybe like a boss fight. And Asimo says he doesn't really like a boss fight in Jelly because it doesn't make sense to him. And Asimo also answered over here, he might retire, you know, the Doom Buggy and bikes and bring it back later. But the most interesting part over here is he dismissed the idea of a pyramid. If you guys don't know, a few days ago, I brought up the theory of a pyramid because a lot of you guys have been saying about it. And he says, I don't know about a pyramid. So the pyramid is kind of basically not going to be a robber because he says, I don't know about it. Anyway, that is basically what he had been saying. So it's not a pyramid robbery, but there is a lot of hints to dirt, rock and excavation. I think you guys may know what it is, but you know, tell me down below what you think. Anyway, on a side note, Jailbreak does have double XP. So if you go over here, as you can see, everything is double and you guys have pretty much less than two days to do it. Um, so if you're close to a level, make sure to go ahead and do it. But yeah, there's double XP in Jailbreak now. Anyway, back to everything else. So that's only one of the odd things that Simo has been basically showing and stuff like that from the Jailbreak creator account, uh, I mean collector account. Uh, but another thing that's pretty odd has something to do with the jailbreak testing server. And the odd part about the jailbreak testing server is it's been open the past few days. Yes, you might be a little bit confused and I think you guys may not really know about it because you know nobody really checks the jailbreak testing server unless it's like an update coming. An update is coming but they usually don't test this early. They usually test maybe a week before the update and they never usually open the testing server. The testing server has rarely been open even when the update's about to drop a few hours before it it's not even open a SEMA only private test now but the testing server is open as you can see if you go over to the batty mill group the jailbreak's right over here and the testing server is open you can go and play it and the most odd thing about it is it's been open and it's free as you guys do know the jailbreak server this jailbreak testing server used to cost you know 300 robux and uh now it's literally free you don't you don't need the 300 robux to pay for it you can go ahead and play it for free and why i find this odd is this is just sal it's a jailbreak admin and somebody asked what's happening in testing and he responded saying internal testing it really shows that you know the testing server is open now i did play in the testing server even i even played the bad cc and uh they basically told us to keep on robbing and it kind of will make kind of sense you know it kind of makes sense they asked us to rob maybe they're trying to find some glitches of robberies but they're trying to find stuff internal testing i don't know really what that really means i think it's something to do you know internally with a system or something like that but yes they're internally testing something in the server now i've played the server i've looked for clues there's nothing really in there i mean you can go check yourself but i don't think there's any secrets in there um but yeah they're internally testing something and i think it's kind of odd because they've never opened the server for three days straight and they also have not made it free as well and that is kind of odd to me so i, I either think they're testing the new robbery some new robbery mechanic or something different about it i played it and there doesn't seem to be much of a difference but they have they're testing something they're testing something in it they're not being that specific but they're just saying internal testing so with all the information said, what do you guys think the next robbery will be? Please make sure to tell me down in the comment section below. I would really love to hear your thoughts and everything. Uh, make sure to tell me down below. That's all I got for you guys. And that's basically everything that's been happening. Um, make sure to tell me down below because, yeah, it took me quite a while to find out all this information. But, yes, that's everything that's been happening. There's been internal testing. There's been, you know, tweets about excavation, dirt, rocks, and all that kind of stuff. And Seamus has been tweeting about how great the robbery is. A lot of stuff is coming. 
And this is all we know right now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think below. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye!